It's a one-party show in Khartoum these days. The ruling party marking its victory. It's the least suitable time of day for celebration. 12 noon and 45 degrees Celsius. And yet, the party is on for the third day in a row. Crowd after crowd are joining. They have been waiting for hours here under the scorching sun for the president to show up. That's because the ruling party would like to prove its popularity. <laughs> president Bashir finally arrives, galvanized by the jubilation on an electoral victory which he is accused of having fixed. An allegation categorically denied by supporters. Absolutely not. The elections were completely transparent and fair. The proof of that was Bashir got 68% of the votes. If there was any rigging, he'd have got 99%, like in all Arab countries. Not everyone in Khartoum, however, is celebrating. Millions of displaced Sudanese from Darfur, the Nuba Mountains and the South have been living for years in the most miserable conditions around the capital. Sure, we're not happy, but what can we do? We're in a desperate condition. No decent homes, no school for our children, no water and electricity. It's been like this for five years. The election would be good if they would just respond to our demands. You see how we live here. Do we live like humans or animals? Strangely, however, opposition parties in the north fell silent for days and they have failed to take to the streets in protest as they had threatened before. But it was an alleged remark by the American special envoy Scott Gration about the US overlooking electoral fraud in order to facilitate the passage towards South Sudan's independence that has caused concern in Khartoum. I think that there is understanding between SPLM and the United States of America since a long time, and we know this. And uh, yes, and I think that uh, United States is the main factor to encourage SPLM to secede from North. And this is very quiet. It is very clear and very, 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 very obvious to all Sudanese people. The ruling party may have won the election, but there are serious doubt it will secure Sudan's unity. The election has cleared the way for the 2011 referendum in which the South will choose to remain within Greater Sudan or become an independent state. But nobody can predict. But we will, we will work very hard to make uh, this unity attractive in the remaining, in the remaining uh, period according to CPA. But if referendum convened and the result coming negative, that secession, we, we will accept it, no problem. Although President Bashir's party did well in the north, the lack of support in the south might be an early indicator that the country is on its way to splitting. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera, Khartoum.